hungry? Yeah, I think they're really hungry because I hear them moving over there. Good morning from Hurricane Creek Farms. So this is Kaylin. I'm Bobby Lee's wife. I'm sure I've met some of you, but just wanted to um, take over the YouTube channel while Bobby Lee's gone. So it's just started off trying to start on doing a few chores this morning. Uh, we got a lot going on while Bobby's out of town. Willis has got a basketball game. Kimber's at a softball camp. So just lots going on. So just wanted to get started this morning. So we came on down. Sadly, it is definitely pouring down rain this morning. So I'm going to do just a few of the chores and probably see later this afternoon if it clears up a little bit and try to work on some others. But anyway, tune in and let's get to it this morning. y'all but I'm pretty uh, grateful for this nice little covered pin this morning as it's pouring down rain um, Bobby and I actually had a funny joke you know he was going out of town and we knew he had planned this trip to go hunting and I said well I know exactly when it's the you know snow's gonna hit so it's gonna be the last weekend in January so the snow actually hit a couple weeks ago as y'all know so at least um, it's not the big snowstorm and I'm having to go chop ice and really take care of things. I think we can handle a little bit of rain. However, it has been raining all week. So it's a pretty big muddy mess. Oh, look, we have Kimber's pony coming up this morning. I wonder if she wants up. I'll put y'all up in your stalls. You wanna go up? So we are back from softball camp and Kimber or Willis had basketball so we had one at camp and one had a basketball game so horses um, ended up actually staying up because it was pouring down rain all morning so I'm gonna turn them out and we at least have stopped raining a little bit it just now kind of basically stopped. So I'm gonna let them out. And then we need to feed the cows here. And we gotta feed, go to the other farm and check on all those at the other one. Hey, feed the cat. How's it going? So, one more pony. Anyway, the kids are uh, excited they were staying in the car. They uh, think they're a little exhausted. Go on. Go. Go. Uh, so, they're snoozing. 
they've had a long day. We also went and did some shopping. Kimber and Bobby Lee have the daddy daughter dance coming up. So we had to go shopping for that. Honey, you are not supposed to be here. You need to go out. Go. Go. Out. Out, out, out. Uh -uh. No, I will give y'all some more hay if you want it. Okay, so now we are going to feed those cows out in this pasture. Uh, we're gonna get about, uh, boss man said about six buckets. So we're gonna fill those babies up. So. Hmm, that's not good. You gotta, hold on. We might have to beat on it. <sighs> All right, going pretty slow. So Willis is gonna join in and help me beating it. You beating it? This might, this meat might get a little bit faster. I was doing that. What? I was doing that. Now I'm gonna have to do it more. Yeah. You're probably gonna have to get down in there. Well, I don't know, but this is, we haven't even gotten one bucket and we gotta fill six. All right, well, that's good enough for this one. Here. What? Daddy. Well, that was not very successful. The uh, grain bin must be out of grain. So it's taken forever for it to fill up one bucket. Got a little bit of feed out for them. We actually have two new ladies hey ladies so we got two new chickens delivered today he uh has been on me to get some more chickens so we got two do i have a gate opener for me nope. so my help woke up but they don't want to help much so we are gonna feed the cows this other farm here but I need a gate opener. Nobody? Nope, not getting out. So we have two new chickens. Y'all gonna think of the names that we're gonna name them? Um, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, that's so y'all. Right y'all figure out names for the chickens. We got two new chickens. Um, they're that's older cool. ladies. They've been laying for a little a couple years. So we need to, they still need names. Got it. My turn. My turn. But you know what? I bet I know where we could do some fun mud wrestling. Anybody want to go for mud wrestling? Man, that would be some fun times. Yes, that is a muddy pit. I'm not sure how I made that, made that, made through that somehow. I did. All right, now we gotta figure out how to get this pin back in because somehow it will not go back in now. Hey, Smokey. Looks like it's bent. I don't know how. Smokey is getting some breakfast or I don't know, maybe dinner at this point. So we have a little bit of a helper this morning. Say good morning, Willis. So we are taking over for day two. So we're headed out to do some chores. And guess what, guys? I see some sun. And it looks like the rain maybe has kind of stopped for a little while. So glad to see some sunshine maybe popping out. And we're gonna get to it today.
We're going to go feed the steers. Okay. So, can you help me? Do you know how to feed the steers? Yeah. All right. Can you tell me what we're supposed to do? So, we're supposed to take two buckets of corn, and then we have to take some little, um, uh, some little, like, feed, um, straight things, and then you put some powder in it, okay. and then mix it up. Okay. So, we got to, how many buckets? Two buckets of corn. Let's go check on these guys. How many stairs do we have down here, Dino? Huh? Hey, there's corn over here. Daddy already got his corn out. So we don't have to get the corn. We just gotta put it in the buckets. They didn't really clean up their corn, their meal from last night. So. So we need to get some shovels no, we're just going to feed them just a little bit. We're not going to feed them the full amount. Daddy's coming back today. If we run out, we're going to have to... Go yeah. No, let me do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. You'll have to open that bag. Do you know how to open the bag? Yeah, I know. Huh? I know. No, you... Hands are too cold. All right, put the trash in the other bag right there. There you go. All right, so we're not, how much do we have to do? So we have to do a full cup in both of them. I, th I think we're supposed to, um, since we didn't do a full one, a full, uh, th three buckets full, let's just do a half a scoop in each. There, that's good. And then just sprinkle it. Yep. Okay, now what do we have to do? Soybean meal? Yeah, so. We have to get a full cup and then sprinkle in both of them. Yeah. And then I would just do like three fourths. We have to so, not all the way to the top, but almost to the top. That's good. Or now, a little, a little bit more. Now, now you can sprinkle it throughout. Make sure you get it, go pretty, eat all the way through because you got to go all the way down here too. Yep. Oh, you're going to do it. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> Good job, bud. Okay, let's go check their water. All right, so definitely need to, let's fill up their water a little bit. Let's okay. fill up their water. So, but watch out, it's gonna spray because the hydrant's busted. So it's gonna spray us, so. See? <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that run for just a minute, okay? okay? All right. So, this is just, is this what daddy does, Willis? No, he bangs on it. Well, it's not bang, it won't come out banging either. You just made it shut. Huh? You made it shut. Oh no.
my hands are gonna get frozen so quickly. Yeah. Think they're hungry? Yeah, I think they're really hungry because I hear them moving over there. All right. All right. My hands are frozen. So got done cleaning out some stalls, doing most of the chores, and almost got back to the house. And I was thinking, okay, I got everything, all the gates locked, all the animals fed, all the chores done, except for one thing. I did not turn the water off at the other barn. So we have to go back down here. Um, my helper, he decided to go to the house. He kind of pooped out on me that he was uh, cold and so he was supposed to remind me to turn the water off yeah I'm not sure why I think relying on a six-year-old to remind me to do things but anyway you'd be surprised sometimes those kids are pretty pretty smart so we're walking back down to the barn because I forgot to turn the water off and it definitely is overflowing. I really shouldn't even put this on camera because Bobby's going to be pretty mad that I'll let this keep going. But hey, could be worse, right? Could have let it go the rest of the day or until he got home. So at least we, we did stop it. And everybody seems to be doing pretty good like they've been up to eat a little bit so now that that's done I guess I can call the chores done and I'm gonna head back to the house There's still lots of mud so I'm gonna clean up a little bit dry off and then we'll be back to see do the uh, evening chores and check on things and y'all have a good one thanks for watching i'm back big shout out to kayla and the kids for holding down the fort keeping things fed and filming while they did it but just got back in town it's about four o'clock which days are getting longer we got about an hour and a half of daylight left i know or at least i'm 99% certain calves up the road are going to be pretty much out of hay, so right away we're going to head up there. Um, I don't think she went and fed them yet today either, so we'll give them some feed out of the end. But yeah, good day hunting, good time with good friends. Um, yeah, it always helps when the hunting was good, and it was good. A um, bunch of ducks, a few little bonus geese to go along with it, um, which means we'll be eating some duck again later on this week. But yeah, let's head up the road, get them fed before it gets dark. While I've got a couple of minutes driving up the road, I'm going to also address a question we had in the last video, or maybe it was two videos ago, um, regarding the tractor. So I said, hey, where's the other tractor? Um, referencing the M6, we've been driving just the M4 here lately. So it's a bit of a long story that has not ended yet. It's kind of why we really haven't addressed it yet, but since somebody went ahead and asked, um, so we traded in the M135 on the M6. And basically the moments before we were trading that tractor, uh, really the hours, like one day before that tractor was leaving, already had the deal in place, had a pretty major issue with the 135. I made uh, first choice the, the, the dealer aware of it. You know, we had all hoped maybe it wasn't worst case scenario. So I said, well, let's just, we'll just come and get it, bring you the new one, we'll just see. Well, it turns out it is major, um, you know, having a major impact on the trade value of that tractor. And so what we're doing, um, meet my neighbor here on the road, they agreed, we're like, hey, let's just cancel the trade deal. Um, they're, they've been great to work with. I can't express enough how uh, 
how much we appreciate them working with us on this. Uh, but just until we knew how much the repairs and all were going to be on that 135 to get it back to what its trade value should be, I said, yeah, let, let's uh, let's kind of cancel that deal for now. Helped out that tractor was not brand spanking new. It was kind of like a demo. It had a, a few hours on it, so it didn't matter too much that we put a few hours on it. So, as it stands right now, here on January the 28th, have the M4, you know, we've had since summer, and we're still the owners of the 135. We're still trying to see exactly the full extent of the damage to it, and you know, going to get it repaired. We may still end up trading it in. We may just take it back and run it, you know, as repaired. We may just try to sell it. I don't know. The only good news with the whole deal, or maybe the best news of this whole unfortunate ordeal is that the timing is good, relatively speaking. We don't need two tractors, essentially until we get the hay field, you know, basically in May. So but that's kind of the story on why you don't see the M6 right now. Um, and yeah, we'll, I'll know more. I'll, I'll keep y'all updated on the, what's going on with the 135 as we get more you know, information. Oh my gosh, it's a muddy mess. Uh, I'm sure Kaylin probably pointed that out <laughs> more than once. But uh, got went ahead and put out a couple of rolls of hay for the cows. Now that we should have some, I won't say drier weather. Now, I guess the weather will be drier. The pastures ain't gonna dry up though. We'll probably start unrolling hay again in the morning. I got three rolls set out where we can pick them up with the bale unroller. Um, kind of get back away because as you can see, Feeding out the hay rings, it turns into a quagmire around those spots very quickly. But at the same time, if we unroll it when it's just, you know, raining inches and inches, it's just such a mess. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is there. I know we don't want to be feeding out of hay feeders right in the middle of calving, you know, with knee deep mud, because sometimes these cows try to have a calf, you know, right where there has been a roll of hay fed because there's a little bit of bedding there, but then it's a there's like a moat of mud and it's again knee deep all the way around it. But anyway, we've got about two weeks to get to calving. So hopefully things will drop a little bit between now and then. Not counting on it though. But gotta feed these steers. Um, I know y'all already seen Kaylin doing that in this video. No need to see me. Um, hey, let me know if you'd like to see more of her. I try to get her involved. I mean, it's, it's just hard. You know, she. She holds down the Ford inside between the kids and everything else. Um, doesn't really leave her a lot of time to be much more involved than what she is, but appreciate her big time for taking care of things while I got away for a couple of days. But yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more of her. Um, she, I'll show her those comments and uh, maybe we can encourage her to, to make more appearances. But anyway, I'm rambling. We're gonna get them fed. We're gonna get in the house, get cleaned up and uh, yeah, get ready to start the week again tomorrow. We'll be right back here again, you know, another video later on this week. Y'all check back with us. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Y'all eat beef and God bless.